In this video I will show you the latest feature of my middle grade EasyTel. It has now reached 20,000 downloads. Thank you for the great interest and the positive feedback. The application is straightforward. Apply the EasyTel to a node and select the desired log curve you are working in. You can then precisely transfer this value to the node you are using for contrast. Alternatively, use the qualifier to select the gray area in the image to map that point directly onto your splines. Additionally, you can display exponential ramps and linear ramps. A new feature is the scale ramp slider, which allows you to scale the ramp down. You also now have the option to hide the mid-gray rectangle if needed. This is useful for technical analysis, as the exponential ramp visualizes the exact black point of the respective log curve. For example, in Arilog C3, the black point is not at zero. If you select Arilog C3, this offset becomes immediately apparent. This is extremely helpful when verifying color space transforms. You can instantly see if the mapping from log C3 to Rec79 is working correctly. By disabling tone mapping, you can observe exactly how the algorithm affects the exponential ramp. It also simplifies comparing different DRTs. If I enable the LUTs within my print EasyTel, for example, you can see how the black levels are raised. Within the DRT, I can then use the shadow sliders to specifically bring the black levels back down to zero. Without the visual feedback from the ramp, this level of precision would be much harder to achieve. The ramp is not only useful to analyzing DRTs and CSTs, it is also highly effective for analyzing contrast adjustments in general. If you want to dive deeper into the topic of contrast, I have released a new 35-minute video in my course dedicated to this subject. In this video, I compare all common contrast tools within DaVinci Resolve and explain the differences between linear operations and S-curves. I also highlight the downsides of certain tools that may compromise image integrity or create unwanted artifacts. The course also includes a contrast detail I developed. This tool is designed to apply contrast with a distinct film-like characteristic. This means the contrast remains nearly linear and consistent around mid-gray, while the shadows and highlights feature a smooth roll-off. The tool is color space aware and respects the specific black points of the selected log curve. If you are interested in learning how to create professional looks with a minimal toolset, I recommend checking out my course Reverse Engineering the Grade. The course has been online since 2023 and is constantly updated. It currently features over 30 videos with a total runtime of more than 4 hours. I hope you enjoy the update to the middle grade detail. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Have a great day and see you next time.